Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover how to run Dagster as a Docker container. On the previous video, I have received a request whether we can Dockerize Dagster. In this session, we will build a custom Docker image and run Dagster as a Docker container. Here we have a base Dagster project running in a virtual environment. If you're new to Dagster, and need to set up a base project, then check out the previous video. Link is in the description below. Anyways, we can run this project to make sure it is in a working state. Our project launched successfully. We can access it via this URL. At the moment, this project does not have any jobs or assets. So let's go ahead and add a few of the sample jobs and asset from the DAX or sample project. I'll delete the existing files and paste in the few folders containing the assets and ops along with few files that leverage these assets and ops to create jobs and schedules. Let's stop our Daxter instance and restart it. This will pick up our assets and jobs. On the launch, we see two sample jobs and a default asset. We can run these jobs and asset on demand. In addition, we have a sample schedule based on one of the jobs. So we have a working example of the Daxter implementation. Now we can start dockerizing this application. To this project, we'll add a Docker file. We'll base this image on a Python-based image. There are various images that are available on the Docker Hub. So once we want to customize a base image, we'll pull from the available images on Docker Hub. With the help of Docker file, we can customize it for our own use case. Let's declare the working directory to a folder on the container. In this instance, it will be user src app folder. We set an environment variable called Daxter home and set it to the same folder. If you recall it from the previous sessions, Daxter home is required. Following this, we install the required libraries such as Daxter, Daggett, and Daxter Postgres. If you need additional libraries, you can list them here or create a requirements file and use that to install your libraries. Once the installation is done, we copy the required files and folders such as Daxter and workspace.yaml over to the container along with our code. The code resides inside the ETL directory. We expose the port Daxter's default port is 3000. Now we can initiate the Daggett command or Daxter web service command. Just an FYI, Daggett command is set to be deprecated in the version 2.0, so I would recommend switching over to Daxter dash web server. This is followed by a dash, and we provide W here, and then provide our workspace.yaml file. For the host, we provide the default IP of the Docker and set the port to 3000. This completes our Docker file. Next, we'll go over the Docker Compose. Here we list our services. First, we have daxter daggett and this is using our Docker file. And the port is mapped to the default Daxter port. Following this, we define Daxter daemon for schedules, run queues, and sensors. This also utilizes the Docker file. And with this service, we issue a command, daxter daemon run. So this will start the daxter daemon. Finally, we have the Postgres service. This is used for the logs and storage for the daxter application. Inside the daxter yaml file, we define the run storage, event log storage, and schedule storage. All of these services are using the Postgres database, so we provide the database details. Then we define the run coordinator policy and set the max concurrent runs to 5. The run coordinator lets us control the policy that Daxter uses to manage the set of runs in our deployment. Finally, we set a couple of parameters to false. This is to suppress a few warnings during the Daxter's launch. Lastly, we define the workspace.yaml. This informs the application 
where our code is stored, so it can load our jobs and assets. With all of these changes in place, we are ready to build a custom image and deploy Diaxer as a Docker container. Okay, the issue is the file extension. It is misspelled. Let's fix the file's extension and try again. We'll issue docker compose build command in the command prompt. This will build a custom docker image based on the docker file we have defined. It is pulling the Python image from the docker hub. Then it installs the libraries we have defined on this image. Once this process is complete, it'll copy the files to the image and finally build a docker container. All of these will be packaged together. Once this is complete, we can run docker compose up command to run our containers. Our containers are up and running. Let's bring up docker desktop to view the containers. We have an ETL that houses three containers. We have Postgres, Daxter daemon, and Daxter web server. We can click on the host and port to launch the Daxter web server. Now we have a fully functional Daxter application running in a Docker container. We can interact with it as usual, execute our task on demand, or run them on schedule, and finally, enhance our application by adding more assets or jobs to this deployment. This is all on Daxter for now. I hope you enjoy the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.